Hey all, welcome back. This is Chris Jenkins again. I am going to be talking about my next piece of next piece of equipment for my home network. And I know what you're thinking. I went overkill, and yes, I did. So um, this is the Ubiquity Ubiquity um, PoE Plus Gigabit Switch, the 48 port one with 500 watts uh, capacity. And I know what you're thinking, uh, you know, why did I go to the 48 port? You know, my house doesn't have that many connections. And you're right. So, I mean, I have pre-installed um, 12 uh, top rewired points in the property. Uh, I'm going to be putting another probably 10 down in the basement because we're going to put an entertainment center. Um, but we're also going to be, um, I'm going to be building a home labs, which could be between... Uh, another you know 10 to 15 ports so we would have been potentially breaking the 24 port barrier um so i kind of thought you know future proofing i want to i'll just bump up to the 48 spend the money now and i don't have to worry about expanding the switch later or putting another switch in one of the things as well which is the reason the kind of the main the bigger reason sorry is the uh, you have the spf 2 plus port um which allows 10 gigabit uplinks to my USG, and I have a USG uh, XG-8, which I can talk about in the future, um, which well, I'll have hopefully a 10G server plugged into for media streaming. So whereas the smaller versions of the, the Ubiquiti switches don't have a um, don't have the 10 gigabit upload, they don't have an SPF one port, which is a bit frustrating. So whilst you could aggregate the two ports together, you know, and get two gig uplink. Um, you, the way aggregate ports work, you can never get more than what a single link speed, i.e. you can't you can't get one connection at two gigabit, you can just have two connections at one gigabit. So I thought I'd go for the faster connection um, now and future-proof myself for later. Um, and again, so and instead I bought this against of the XG16, which is, you know, it has, I think it's 10? Whereas I think it's 12 SPF plus ports and then four copper ports. This is, P I mean, that doesn't have PoE and I need PoE for all my Wi-Fi points. And I'm going to be powering probably um, some IoT devices using PoE. So I'm kind of, kind of, this is the kind of the only choice I have at the moment. I'm, there is talks about changing, about them having small switches with bigger uplinks, but I don't know how close it is, you know, and I need to build my network now. Um, so this this thing is big, and this thing is very heavy, um, like really heavy, and it kind of surprised me because I went to kind of get out of the box and I, was, and I kind of didn't put my back out on it. So note to self, if you are building one of these, putting one of these in your house, or you've got you know a rack mount to put it in, you either want a wall, a really sturdy wall-mounted rack mount, probably not you know not a small one or floor standing because this thing this thing is really heavy. Um, I know when you combine that with all your server hardware and your router and any other equipment you're gonna put in your rack, you're gonna be, you know, you're looking at probably pushing 50 kilos or something of a full completed rack. Um, but apart from that, I haven't booted it up yet. I will boot it up soon and then show you how that works. I just want to just give you, show you what it looks like. This is a refurbished unit because it saved me about $300, um, you know, when we're spending that much money on a switch. It's quite nice to save a bit of cash. Um, so there's the rubber grommets in it to protect the ports. And, you know, standard 48 ports. And that's pretty much it. As you, as you may be aware, these are the older L2 switches. So these don't have independent power supplies. They are just releasing a new 48 port switch and 24 port switch, which have dual power supplies. And so you can switch them or, you know, have failover. Um, they were more expensive, and I didn't want to spend the money, um, so I'm using this until you know, basically these are discontinued, um, and then I'll probably sell this and get maybe one of those newer switches. Um, and again, that's about it. Also, you've got your console port on the back. Sometimes they spec they've got a console port, and they don't show it in the image, but your, your console port's on the back. And that's about it. I'll see you next time with more Ubiquity stuff. Bye. Uh, talk to you later.